The key to sharing a board in Miro is knowing who you want to share it with and how much access you want to give them. The icon on your share button is your first clue about who has access to your board. See this lock? That means I'm the only one who can see this board at the moment. To adjust the sharing settings for the board, go to the sharing window. From here, you have a range of options to decide who to share your board with. Each section here offers a different way of sharing. You can invite specific people, grant access to all members of a certain team, or share the board with the entire company. And finally, if public link sharing is enabled by your Miro admin, then you can share your board via a link with people outside of your company. For example, with a client or an external consultant, you can add an extra layer of protection for public links by setting a password. To control how much access someone has, you adjust the access rights. You have the ability to specify whether people can view, comment, or edit the board content. Or even mix and match. For example, I'm collaborating with my team on a project, so I'll give them edit access to the project board. I also want to get feedback from an external consultant, but don't want them to make any changes directly to the board. So I'll allow only commenting access through a link. And say I want to remove the consultant from my board after the project is completed. I will just change the link setting back to no access. But what if you want to remove specific people you've added to the board? Easy. Just go to Manage Access and, well, kick them out. Like I said, sharing in Miro is all about defining who and how much access. With these two levers, you can fine-tune access to your Miro boards exactly as you need.